Hi boys and girls, welcome to another flipped lesson. This week you're going to be learning about factors and multiples. You actually have two videos. First one's going to be about factors and the second one is going to be about multiples. And the reason we're doing two is because even though they're separate skills, they, they go hand in hand. So let's get started first with factors. So how do you find all the factor pairs of a number? For example, find all the factor pairs of 16. So when we're talking about factors, I'm going to show you a couple examples because think about when you learn your multiplication facts. It's facts is short for factor. So let's take a look at this. And how we're going to find the factors of a number are going to be by using the rainbow factor line. So in this lesson, you will learn how to find all the factor pairs of a number by using a rainbow factor line. All right, so let's do a quick review. Factors and factor pairs. So when we say factors, we really mean, well, factors come in pairs. So if we give a quick example with some hearts. So we've got six hearts, and we're going to think of some facts for six. So two and three, two is a factor, and three is a factor of six. So together, we call them a factor pair. And then six is the product. So again, two and three are the factor pair. So two and three are factors of six. Six is the product. And then you can reverse it too, um, just knowing your division facts. Six divided by two is three, or six divided by three gets you to two. And then they're just showing a picture there of showing you the division, 6 divided by 2, and then 6 also divided by 3. All right, and then a common mistake with factors is when listing factor pairs, don't forget to list the numbers um, the number as a factor of itself. So with 6, a lot of people forget that 1 and 6 are factors of the number. Sometimes they forget that, so that's a common mistake. And that's um, actually the easiest one, just 6 in the number. What are all the factors for 6? So when you think about this, the very first thing you want to do is list. All right, so you have your first factor pair here. So after you've listed your number, the very first thing you want to do is put the number one and the number. And you want to space it out because when you see you're going to be doing a rainbow method. So I'm going to now put in that rainbow. So this is my first pair is one and six. And what you're doing is you're working your way towards the middle. So then you start with one then the very next thing you do is write a 2. So you think, okay, does anything 2 times anything get me to 6? So we already know, which from the previous slides, that 2 times 3 gets you to 6. So the next number I'm going to do 2 and 3. Then I'm going to draw my rainbow in. So then there's my 2 and 3. So now I'm still working my way towards the middle. So I've gone one, two, and then I'm already at three. So there's no space in here. So doing this method, if you haven't skipped any numbers, it's um, a way to, instead of just trying to list them all, you're working your way towards the middle. And then on this side, there's nothing here because four times nothing gets you to six and five times nothing gets you to six. So with doing this, you've actually found all of your factors. So all the factors are 1, 2, 3, and 6. And the pairs are 1 and 6, and 2 and 3. Alright, so the next one is where I want you to 
get out a piece of scratch paper and try to do this one on your own. I know you've only seen one example, but I want you to try to find all the factor pairs for 16. So I'll give you a little hint. So the very first thing, I just want you to write 16. All right, so pause the video and then do your rainbow method and then see if you did it correctly. All right, so hopefully you had time to do it. So hopefully the first thing you did was put a 1 and then a 16 and then you spaced it out because it's always the number and 1 is always a factor pair. So draw your rainbow in and then you want to work your way towards the middle. So then you think, okay, is 2 a factor? Does 2 times anything get me to 16? And you know it is since um, 16 is an even number and any even number number will be a factor of 2. So 2 times what gets me to 16? So that would be 2 times 8 gets me to 16. So then I draw in part of my rainbow. Now I'm going to work my way in. So 1 time, one works. 2 is a factor. 3. 3 times 4, no. 3 times 5, 3 times 6, 3 times 7, no. So 3 is not going to be a factor. So then I work till 4. I go 4. Oh, 4 times 4 is a factor of 16. So I'm going to put uh, my 4 here and a 4 here. And then I can draw in my rainbow. But since 4 and 4 are the same number, you can really just put one four in the middle and you don't really need to put both the fours because really all the factors of 16 are 1, 2, 4, 8, and 16. So 16 actually has five factors 1, 2, 4, 8, and 16 because you don't count the four twice. And then some people just put a square around it because four is a square number. So in this lesson you've learned how to find all of the factor pairs of a number by using the rainbow factor line. But then I've got one more example for you. It's a little bit harder, but again, use your scratch paper um, and pause the video. I want you to find all the factor pairs for 30. So again, pause the video. Um, start with your number, so write the number 30, and then go from there. All right, so just be, like before, you want to start with your 1 and 30, because any number is going to have 1 as a factor. 1 and 30 is easiest, and you're going to work your way towards the middle. 30 is an even number, so you know 2 has to be a factor. So 2 times what gets you to 30? So 2 times 15, draw in part of your rainbow. You work your way towards the middle. 1, 2, then 3. I know 3 times 10 gets me to 30. So that's going to be my next factor pair, 3 and 10, draw the rainbow. So 1, 2, 3, 4. Let's see, 4 times 7 is 28. 4 times 8 is 32, but nothing, so 4 doesn't work. Think about 5. Oh, 5 is, because 5 times 6 gets me to 30. So there's my 5, my 6. And see how the gap's closing, and now... 5 and 6, there's nothing between 5 and 6, so I know I'm done. And I've covered all my numbers. So I've got 1, 2, 3, 4 pairs, and then 8 total factors. So 30 has 8 factors with 4 pairs. So the factors are 1, 2, 3, 5, 6, 10, 15, and 30. Um, I hope this helps with factors. Um, look on your entrance ticket for the problem, and if you have any questions um, for the rainbow method just look back on the video remember work your way towards the middle think about if um, you know two three four as you work your way towards the middle if those numbers can get you to um, the product that you're looking for all right good luck on the entrance ticket